Ah, yes. A nice stroll through my garden to see zombies burning out in the distance. What else could be better than starting our episode of Valhelsia 3 watching that? Guys, welcome back to Valhelsia 3 with Super Turtle. It's me, your boy. Look at all them eggs from all of our chickens. Hello. Holy heck, Batman. Don't you... No. Oh, I totally blocked him. Did you see that? Yo, oh, that was amazing. But yeah, guys, so I went to the nether. I did some pretty sketchy stuff in the nether. Went ahead and got some... Some basalt, got some of the the warped stems. You know these are pretty 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 dope. Got some uh, blackstone, yeah. So did some improvements here. We got some lining up top there to kind of keep us keep it lit in here. Uh, we did that last episode. Put it underneath there. But today today guys, we're gonna be getting into immersive engineering. Now this is the second time of me recording the intro because the freaking first intro got messed up by voice mod. I've been messing around with voice mod with my friends and stuff like that. And, you know, I decided to hijack the microphone and really not do anything. But as you can see, I've kind of chiseled this out. Let's go ahead back here. And boom, look at this. We got a Coke oven already. Now, if you guys are wondering how to make a Coke oven, you just got to make 27 of these bricks. You get three each time you craft. You need uh, clay, bricks, and sandstone of any kind. Uh, looks like chiseled black sandstone that's pretty cool that we have black sandstone even white sandstone Ooh, that's pretty neat but anyway you go ahead and you make uh, a total of 27 of these you place these all in a uh, three by three you know kind of like this a cube and then you go whack and you whack it with your hammer and then you get this so i've already got some cold processing in here we need to go ahead and get the creosote oil so we can go ahead and get ourselves some treated wood so let's go ahead and get some buckets so we can go ahead and grab that stuff out of there now i believe yeah i got two buckets here I should have one more bucket somewhere else bam yeah look at that so we should be able to go click click go okay it's gonna be the hard way so we can go ahead and do that. Bam, look at that. We got our creosote oil. Very cool. Step one is completed. We got some weed right here. We can go like this. We can go like this. And bam, treated wood. Now it is a little grindy like that. I don't know if uh, if refined storage will allow us to automate that at all. Uh, but that's what we're doing now. And I don't have any more wood, so this is going to have to do. Now what we want to make here is a water mill, but we're going to require some steel. Now how do we make steel? Well, let us see here. Steel. It doesn't say. Okay, so if we come here to steel, uh, if we come over here to a blast furnace, this is what we need now. Uh, we need a blast brick. Bam. So this is what we're going to need to go ahead and make. Uh, we need to get some magma blocks, some nether bricks, which is actually super awesome. Because I did bring a whole batch, bunch back. What am I even saying? I did bring back a whole bunch of nether rack. So we can go ahead and take some of this coal coke here, which gives us double the smelting time of normal coal. We can go ahead and throw this in here and throw that in there as well. And this will smelt up all of that while I go get some magma blocks from the nether. All right, so I want to go ahead and make one of these mechanism tanks here so we can put our creosote oil in. Uh, we are getting more creosote oil than uh, we will probably need for a little bit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is take these buckets out, put them into here. How much we got? We got one more bucket. Very cool. So I can go ahead and actually stop this. And we can move it over because I didn't think that we would need the blast furnace as well. But we are going to need that for some steel production, which is honestly pretty cool because uh, I really haven't dove into immersive engineering all that much. So I'm actually really excited to go ahead and do this. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, Coke oven over here where we get our Coke. Um, not the not the bad Coke, but the, but the really good Coke. You know, nothing, nothing cheap here. So we can just go ahead and go whack. So that's good to go. We can go ahead and get this firing back on all cylinders. Go ahead and grab this. So now this will be here. Actually, I do have another bucket too. Very neat. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put the uh, furnace over there. Now we're just going to bring this in by one. And we're also going to convert these to the uh, warp stem. But this is where we're going to put our engineer's work table. And then another item that we'll be getting here in just a second. Okay, so I do believe we have enough now for the blast bricks. Now we just need 27 of them, just like the other one. Let's get our hammer on our hotbar and come on back over here. 
All right, now that this is placed, whack, now we have this. Now we use the coal coke here and we grab some iron, which means I'm gonna have to go get some more iron as well. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get eight of these because we are we're pretty low on iron, honestly. And then we're gonna throw them in here. Now one of these should be able to smelt all of these guys up, uh, but now this will go ahead and produce us some steel, which will be awesome. And that's all we need to make one of our watermills, which we can to go ahead and start producing power after that. All right, so to get power out of our windmill, we're gonna go ahead and need to make a kinetic dynamo here. Very easy to make. All we need is just a couple pieces of iron. I believe we need just that many, because uh, there's a few other crafting steps. But if we look here, we're also gonna need to go ahead and make some scissors here. Now this does just take a normal stick. Uh, these are wire cutters, sorry, not scissors. So to make these, we just need two sticks and a piece of iron. So we actually do need one more iron. And then we're just gonna grab two sticks. Bam, so we can go ahead and make our wire cutters. Kablammo. Now I should have a heck ton of copper somewhere. Not really a heck ton, but uh, quite a bit. Ah, it's in my inventory. I feel like an idiot. So here we go, if we go like this. Oh, we need to make it into a plate first, right? Yes, let's put the sandstone in there. That's a great idea. We're just gonna make eight of these down like this, bam, very cool. Now we just need a couple more sticks. I don't think we even needed that many. Okay, now we just need to make these guys. Bam, we made eight total. Bam, made one of these, and now we are good to go. Now this is what the water mill will go ahead and attach to, uh, so that's awesome. So let's see here, what do we need for the water mill? Uh, we need some treated wood, we do need quite a few of these. I do believe we need more than what we have. Yep. Okay, so I do need to go ahead and chop down some trees, so it means I'm gonna have to make another ax here. I'm running real low on iron and wood, so we're in a pinch. So with some more wood chopped down, we can go ahead and make some more of the treated wood sticks uh, to the amount that we need. Yep, so we have a total of four now. Now, all we need, I thought I made one too many after that. Uh, this has been done. Okay, uh, the slag here, I had me confused for a second. We make concrete with it, which is pretty neat. Concrete tile, uh, so we make some uh, decent looking block, I guess. But now we do have the steel ingot that we need for making our water mill. We also have the kinetic dynamo here. It's just, it's just perfect. And I smelt, I did, ooh, I didn't smelt up all of my clay. Amazing. I was really worried that I had smelt up all my clay because we're gonna need some of this here pretty soon. Uh, two, three. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and make eight of these up. We're also gonna go ahead and smelt these up. Yeah. Very cool, get some experience. All right, I'm a big fan. Go ahead and just throw those in there. We have quite a few of those left over, actually. We can go ahead and actually make some more, like a second windmill or water mill, but I don't think we actually will. I'm just gonna hold on to these, put them in here, call it good. Okay, so we have these two items here, which is what we desperately need. We actually need to empty these. I feel like a total idiot. I just realized we need to get the wa some water in there. Yeah, so if we empty these up, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and fill it up with water now. Okay, so the next things we're gonna be needing on our list are the abilities to get the power out of the water mill that we've just made. Now, the first thing we need to go ahead and do is get some terracotta going, uh, like I do have here, like we just made. Uh, we need to go ahead and just do one of these real quick, and then we need to make some relays as well. So these are cheaper amazing and they give you double what you were getting before very cool so these will pull the water out here now i'm just trying to think is there a way we can make this look really cool like into a puddle area i guess we could over here we'll have to move our nether portal which i'm not too excited about but i do think the best area would be here uh so actually we're gonna make like the water come off the tower here and go onto our windmill yeah I'm a big fan of that, but we're not gonna do that. <laughs> For now, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in our own base, because uh, we need our power, and we need it now. So I'm gonna make a room for it, kinda here. 
We are running low on our diamond pickaxe, as you guys can see. I'm going to need another enchant here pretty soon. But I don't have any lapis, so we're going to have to go look for that. Yeah, we're about to lose our pickaxe. It's okay. Oh, my... It... Whoa, oh, man. I didn't actually want it to break. Okay. Uh, I do... I do have some more. We're okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. That pickaxe broke. Yes, you can be sad, but don't be too sad. <gasps> that was an axe! Okay. Well. I feel like a fool. Well, now we have an axe. Cool. I guess. Alright, so we're gonna put it here. Uh, looks okay. Might need to go up one more block, but we definitely need to go down. So this is the area that we're gonna be putting it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up one more block just to be safe. So water mill is here like so. If we go ahead, place that here like this. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, so that should be like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place some water here. Just kidding. Yes, that's where I'm gonna place water. So this will make it as quick, I believe it's as, at its max speed here. That's uh, so what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this. Nope, that definitely needs to go there. And then we can also put a source block over here, I do believe. That might make it spin a little bit better. Okay, we need to place this the other way. Like so, and then we should be able to get power out of here. Like that. All right, so now we need to make the low voltage uh, our cables, which is very importante, which we've already made these. We had to put them around this guy here, if you remember. So these are just made up by snipping some copper. Okay, so that, whoops, we are all everywhere. That should be enough here if we go like that. Bam, do we have any sticks? We'll do now. All right, we made a total of 16 of these guys. Very, very neato, if you do ask me. So now we do have a power tap wherever we want. We can get power over here to some of these items, which means that we can go ahead and start knocking on the door of mechanism. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it ran out of fuel. So it looks like it's one to one for cold coke with this thing, because it does take a bit longer. Uh, so burn time is 1200 seconds here, as you can see. Very, very cool. All right, so this is the very basic stuff of immersive engineering. The next thing I wanna go ahead and do is get the immersive engineering workbook. Uh, so to do that, we need to go ahead and make a lever and combine this with a uh, book. So all we need to do here, just go like that. We need to go ahead and sleep. All right, now let's go kill a cow. Ooh, there's a skeleton running around. Is he in? Oh, he's over in the water. Got him. There's a zombie down there. So all we need to do is just go, well, All right, now we can go ahead and make a book. I need to start breeding those guys up again. They're getting a little low. All right, so we can go ahead here. We can create this book. That door needs to be a different color, by the way. And then we can combine these two together to get the immersive engineering book. Now, this is like a the engineer's manual. Yeah, okay, so I was worried that this was actually going to go ahead and crash, but it seems like we're okay. Uh, engineer's toolbox here is where we put all of our different items. That's actually very cool. Just takes aluminum. Oh, silver mashed. That's a silver plate. Oh, it looks like you can. Metal plates. Okay. Oh, aluminum. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense there. Uh, so back here. Now, the stuff we want to get to, like the mining drill, this is definitely something I want to go ahead and do. Yeah. So that's very, it seems very simple to make. Just need some copper and treated sticks. 
And then we have the, this guy. This is the thing that I, oof. Yeah, iron mechanical. Okay, so those are all the things that we can look up. Uh, but the things I really want to look at in here are the multi-block structures. Um, let's see here, construction. Heavy machinery, yeah, metal press. This guy here we're going to need to go ahead and make because we need to start pressing items eventually. Um, let's see here, refinery. Um, I don't think we'll be needing that, but like crusher this will definitely help us so we do have something to strive for now uh, but the next thing i want to go ahead and do is let's see here where did it go i want to go ahead and make the engineer's workbench now this should be pretty simple to make looks like we just need a few fences here yeah i put all my treated wood away we can go ahead and change that real quick also we can go ahead and grab some of this very cool. I wish we had better buckets in here. Okay, so yeah. Oh shoot. Okay, so we got some more treated wood, which is good to see. So all we need to do is just make one of these for our table. Uh, we need to make some half slabs. So that's good to go. We need a piece of iron. That's good to go. Now, what do we need to make this engineer's crafting table? That ain't bad at all. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need to make some more of these and just a normal crafting table after that. Very cool. Okay, that's been made, and now we can go ahead and make this guy here. Perfect. This is what I wanted to put here, and I believe it's only two blocks wide. Yes, yeah, so we do have room for something else over here, which we're just going to go ahead and break this real quick. Grab this guy. Put them here, and then we're also going to put a crafting table here. Uh, so now we'll be able to make our own creosote or our own treated wood here. So another thing, cool thing we, should, we could add is some drawers back behind there. And we have some drawers that we can put in here. Very cool. Now we can store we can store various things in these different items, but we're going to put wood in here for now. So if we ever need to create. Uh, to transfer over some creosote oil, we have everything we need located right here. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this room now. It's, it just feels like it has a purpose over there. Let's go ahead and make sure this thing is fully lit up though. Very cool. Now this is feeling much, much better. And I actually think it would be cool if we put some treated wood up in here. It does make it feel a little bit better. We can go ahead and break this. That's a struggle. Put that there. And then we can put like an item frame up over there. We do have everything we need for an item frame. Yeah, so if we go like this, we can put that there. And then we can go ahead and put the engineer's manual there. So everything we need for immersive engineering is right here and is looking schmexy as heck. Okay, so we got both of these guys going here. We got quite a bit of steel gone. We got quite a bit of cold coke. We got quite a bit of all the things. And we also got this cool thing called a kiln brick oven. Uh, to make this, you just make these kiln bricks, which is two sandstone and two bricks. You just need to make a total of eight of these. Um, so you just need to craft it four times. Very simple. Then you right click it with a hammer and you get this. This combines both of our ores here and as you can see we got some electrum now the recipe for electrum obviously is just gold and silver so it's through two of the two and two together and we got four electrum out of it that's pretty neat so i don't know why but for some reason i feel slightly out of breath and i haven't even done anything so anyway i want to go ahead and make the drill before we get going uh so in order to make that yes we do need to go ahead and smack that got some more copper here let's have a look a look see yes okay so how many of these do we actually need we need two of these 
Okay, I actually think we need three of these. But that's okay, we got more steel. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Okay, and then the recipe. Bam, okay, so we got those that we needed. Wooden grip, that actually isn't too bad at all. Okay, now we have those. Let's go ahead here. Yep, we just need two. <gasps> That's an iron one. Oh, no. There goes a waste. That was a waste. Ah, shoot. Okay. So we have everything but this. And so all we need for that are just pistons. Really? Really? <gasps> really? Okay, so two of those. We got two of those. Got the cobblestone that we need. We just need the wood. Okay, wood completed. Two of those. One of these. Bam. Okay, so mining drill. Now we need to go ahead. Okay, that's going to require 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 steel total. Okay, so we do have enough, so we just need to let this cook up, which will take a bit. All right, we have all the steel that we need now. Let's go ahead and get this guy crafted up. Now, let's get this guy crafted up. Now, how do we combine these two? So it says it's empty here. Right-clicking, maybe we need to combine them together. Uh, corner. Corner. That's weird. Okay, to the wiki. Aha, uh -huh. so guys, all you need to do is make our, the engineer's workbench that we did. Uh, we just need to throw the mining drill in here and then you can throw this guy. Now there are also some upgrades we can add here, uh, like the pressurized air tank allows the mining drills to operate underwater. We have the advanced lubrication reduces the damage to the mining drill uh increases the attack damage and digging speed so that's one that we're going to want to go ahead and take a look at uh large tank okay so it looks like we are going to somehow need it says it runs on biodiesel if you look oh look over here uh yeah so it looks like we can fill this up from a refinery but uh let's go ahead and test this bad boy i do have a little bit of a, a, a strip mine down here and it looks like we might be able to uh, start mining a bit here or or not. Um, <laughs> so it looks like we're going to need to get the biodiesel, unfortunately, for the drill. Ah. All right, guys. So it looks like we uh, we do need to start the process of getting biodiesel. And we need to do that by getting ethanol and plant oil. Now, I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, plant oil. Check this out. So it looks like we're gonna need to make an industrial squeezer so we can go ahead and get some plant oil. So that is now on the list. Uh, and then we also need to get that ethanol. Now ethanol is an industrial fermenter, but we just chuck in food items. Okay, so those should be able to be done. Um, yeah, I think we can do knock those out in the next few episodes. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please do make sure you hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and check out my drill. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty drilly. So anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Pressure here. Bye-bye.